Okay, this is maple that was cut this year, and what we're doing is taking moisture, two moisture readings in the middle and one on either end, and then averaging them. It's not precise, but it's pretty close. And the moisture meter can be set <clears throat> to the species of wood. So this one we're getting 37% on this reading. Boy, it could have been easier on the end. <laughs> Thank God. 27. So the end, on this end, we have 27. We're trying to get pieces that have an average of well over 30. like this that is 39 on this end, 32 on this end, and these two middle readings are 43. And we'll average those and weigh the wood before we put it in. It's all the same species. It's, uh, it's rock maple cut pretty recently. So we got one more to do. So this piece is 31, 34, 37, and 27. So we can assume that maybe the 27 was facing the sun. So this is a fire that's, that's uh, almost at the desired coal bed. It's down under three pounds. Um, this stove has a catalytic converter, which you can see right here. It is a stainless steel foil catalytic converter, which was developed for the diesel truck industry. This is a thermocouple measuring the downstream temperature. And this is the bypass. I won't open the bypass because we'll get a lot of smoke out. But you can see that it's basically doing what it's supposed to do. So the stove is on a scale. We're going to load in 24 pounds of uh, hard maple with an average moisture content of 36%. For each piece, we have taken a moisture content on both ends, so 33%, 28, and then two in the middle. 43 and 43 in this piece and then average them. The stove, the stove is on a scale so we're going to be able to measure the burn rate. We're also monitoring CO, CO2, oxygen, and hydrocarbons. And we have a filter system of the kind you would use for an EPA test actually going to, uh, which is going to collect uh, a catch. So we're going to get some approximation of an EPA run with actual cordwood. Okay. <coughs> so, ready to, ready to. One, go. Closing the bypass, basically shutting the damper down to its lowest setting. So the fire, what little there is, is going to go out. We're deliberately trying to create a smoldering fire with very little flame. Oh, that's a beautiful fire. <laughs> 
my house and eat my house. Not gonna work. <laughs> well, I'm I'm relieved because the uh, the CO is dropping. Look, yeah. I, I am recording. Oh, oh, you are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wanted to get a little bit of video of that thing doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. So, well, what it's doing now is there's a little bit of fire every now and then in the bottom of the stove, but there's no secondary activity, and uh, it's just smoldering. <clears throat> okay, so here we are at two hours, and there's still really there's a little tiny bit of visible flame in the back, uh, and you can see some hot coals in the front. You can still see where I wrote the moisture content on these logs. So basically, we've been running almost the equivalent of a kiln or an evaporator. Uh, no flame, no secondaries, and starve for oxygen. We're relying almost entirely on the catalyst to clean up the mess. So about three hours, and we're getting a little bit of secondary activity through the secondary combustion system, which you can see. Um, basically, the catalyst is now up to a temperature that, uh, that has heated the top of the firebox to the point where the secondaries will ignite. But we're still burning at a very, very low rate. There's only the single flame in the sort of middle of the firebox and uh, the wood consumption rate is still quite low. So here we are at approximately four hours. Uh, one of the top logs has collapsed and the other one has rolled to the back. We have pretty steady flame right in the middle and uh, you know relatively consistent secondary activity right above it. We have uh, about six pounds of wood left, so we'll go at least another two or three hours. So here we are at five hours. Uh, of the three pieces, of the four pieces of wood that we put in, three are mostly coal, charcoal. The fourth one rolled off the top toward the back, and so, and so of the 3.2 pounds remaining, that's most of the wood. Um, and our consumption rate is down to, you know, 0.2 uh, pounds every five minutes or so, 0.1. So this is still going to go for quite a long time. It, when I looked at it, it looked like that back log was almost still fully intact other than being charred on the outside. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. There's, well, you have to remember that it initially weighed... Um, over six pounds and the total weight in the stove is now three. So it, it's got to be dried out and at least partially burned or charred. This is uh, post coal bed raking. We actually have a real fire again. Okay, yesterday we had wet wood, 36% moisture content. This is kiln dried maple with about a 20% moisture content. You can just feel the difference. And yesterday, we damped the stove down right away, which you're not supposed to do. Today, we're going to leave it open for a few minutes to actually build up some temperature, like we tell our customers to do. And we'll measure the same things we did yesterday. See what difference wet wood makes. How many pounds of wood are in there? A uh, total of 21.7, so it's a little less than the moisture content. Yesterday was 24 something? 24. Yeah. Three pounds less and about four pounds less moisture. 
Actually, I'm going to close the combustor bypass right now. Looks like a minute, 20 seconds. Two minutes, you think, Lewis? Yeah. yeah. Two minutes into the burn, and I'm going to close the... So here we are at one hour into uh, dry cordwood burn. Um, we get an occasional burst of secondary activity, but basically not a whole lot. The catalytic temperatures are much higher than with wet wood. Uh, oxygen is lower. Hydrocarbons are lower. So we would expect that probably this will be a cleaner burn, but we'll wait and see what the results are. This is a snapshot at two hours. We've got decent secondary activity in the top of the firebox. Hydrocarbons are now at zero and uh, CO is negligible. We passed the peak of the burn rate and it's kind of leveling off. So we should be in for another three or four hours anyway. So here we are a little after four hours. Uh, there's still some sort of chunks of uh, wood in there, but it's mostly charcoalized, and at the rate it's burning now, it'll probably go for another couple hours.